most serious South African rock and surf anglers. It is always a fantastic experience when you enter the trans sky. The almost eerie but very exciting feeling that starts from your stomach as you approach the coastline. And where better than Mazeppa Bay? Staying at the lovely Mazeppa Bay Hotel, offering everything an angler needs for a comfortable and well-organized excursion. These untamed waters hold magnificent catches, and most of the times, anglers return after a trip with some fantastic stories as well as catches. Now, Mazeppa Bay must be one of the best shark destinations in Southern Africa, and I think everyone will agree by now. Offering a great versatility in fishing spots to accommodate any or most weather conditions. Tyron and Jeremy arrived late afternoon and was very eager to get a bait in the water. Now kite fishing is an age old discipline. In the olden days the guys used to fish with the kite on serious deep sea equipment to target big sharks and even brindle bass. This method has evolved quite a bit and now you only use the kite to go drop your bait, making use of clips and methods to make it possible. So you still use your normal gear, just using the kite to drop your bait. And like I said earlier in Mazeppa Bay, the spots allow for any wind conditions. Alright right, guys, we just arrived here at Mazeppa Bay. Um, it's going to be day one. Uh, we got quite strong southwesterly winds to contend with. Um, well, it's actually more of a southeast. We'll get up the kite. We want to try and get a bait off the kite. Um, we're accommodated by the wonderful Mazeppa Bay Hotel. Everyone knows them. It's probably the best place to stay when you come to the site. I love that place. So good to be back. But yeah, we're going to try and get a bait on now. Um, see what happens. Jeremy quickly got their baits out, making use of another rod and a big Scarborough reel to fly the kite and bring it back in again. Um, we got a really, really strong southwesterly wind blowing um, when we arrived. It started off with probably blowing about 13 knots when we arrived. And now it's picked up to what are probably a good 20, 22 knots, maybe even 25 knots. It's really, really strong. Um, so we're using the kite here at Sharks Point, putting out some baits, trying our luck. It's not quite the right direction, but it seems to be slowly swinging to more of a southwesterly direction. So yeah, that's what we want. Um, I've just put out a full body bonito. We caught it literally two days ago. maybe find a bit of a bigger bite. Um, the water's looking good. A lot of sardines around, a lot of bird action around. So yeah guys, hope you're checking out soon. Oh, Tyron was the first to go tight and with a proper fish at that. <laughs> She's going. Right, guys, we on ya. Mazepa Bay Shark Point. Fish is starting to be a bit funny now. Let's see. We've got out a full bonito. Not even five minutes, and we've hooked into what feels like a really, really good fish. She ran off about 400 meters at first. Now she's coming in relatively easily. Let's see. Pretty sure she's gonna, she'll wake up soon again.
When targeting these bigger fish, it's essential when they pick you up to let it go, with a tight drag of course, and see what it's doing first, assessing its size and how quickly you'll be able to pull it. But allow it to do most of its maneuvers while it's still far out. This reduces your chance of losing it. When you feel the fish is starting to hang a bit, allowing you to move it around, might be even very slowly, that's the time you can start working it back. Beforehand, you need to identify safe and ideal areas to land the fish, for both your and the fish's safety. Ideally, when fighting this fish right, you'll be able to take it to that spot. Oh, hi. Another bit of advice is to get yourself up quite high, especially if you've got enough line. This will make the fight and directing the fish quite a bit easier. And what fantastic scenery to fight a fish in. Something very unique to Mazeppa Bay and the Trans Sky. Right, guys, we're close to bringing the fish in now. She's about 100 meters out, she's close in. We suspect a reasonable size bronzy. So yeah, let's see, let's see if we can get her out. Move a bit left here, keep her away from the rocks. It's playing a bit naughty. Yeah, a bit of a naughty fish. Good job. Keep the pressure on. Get in close. And away from the rocks. Hopefully it goes properly to plan. The Daiwa Saltus Extra Heavy is becoming quite popular under the big shark anglers and definitely allows you to direct rather big fish easier than with most ropes. The Saltiga dogfight adds all the confidence a big fish angler requires. At this stage of the game, you don't want to worry about your tackle failing on you. Do you have enough line or does your reel have the strength to see this fight through? And what a way to start the trip, Tyron. That last couple of minutes of a fight really tests any angler to his ultimate. Good fish, huh? <laughs> That's a good fish, shit, that big. That's my biggest bronzy, I think. Yeah. Did he, did he Guys, you just check that awesome bronze weighted shark it just got now. 226 centimeters. I'd estimate the shark to be between 180, maybe 200 kilos. Um, so, so chuffed. We hooked up in Shark Point. Did about a kilometer walk and we landed on the beach here. These are my dog fight, Lever Jack 60. Loaded with 65 pound J braid. You know, I don't think if I, if, if I didn't have this braid, I'd, honestly, I don't think I would have got the fish out of the reef. She pulled me into the rocks, actually at the front here, a couple times. And yeah. The braid stood up, the leader stood up, very tough. They used a 12-volt demon circle and that got a rod in the corner. Using my Saltus 12, um, 8 to 12 ounce rod. Yeah, the perfect, perfect. And then guys, the bait we used, we dropped, we dropped out a fresh bonito um, that we caught, what, two days ago? So yeah, shit, a bit out of breath. <laughs> now many anglers will agree with me that this is where memories get made. got a bit darker, Jeremy was next in line and little did he know what was coming. She is going like a really good fish. We've hooked up again, the fish are here, the fish are biting. What more could you ask for? Mazeppa Bay at its finest. We seem to have hooked a really good fish here. It's going one way but there we go, we've turned it, we've turned it, that's looking good. Yeah guys, let's see, let's see. 
We've hit, we've hit out a massive tuna head, um, probably about two kilos. And yeah, let's hope for the best. Let's try and get this fish out. It is night time, it can be a bit tricky, but we just gotta be patient, work as a team, and try and get this fish out. Jeremy hooked this fish a bit late, but under normal circumstances, I wouldn't advise Angus to fish this area at night. The rocks here can be very treacherous and very dangerous. It will help having someone like Andrew Swellendarbo with you to direct you through the area of the fights and the right rocks, even the right spot to land it. He's got years and years of experience growing up in this area and a very competent angler himself. Definitely one of the best guides to use in the area. Run again. <laughs> How's it, guys? Yeah, um, been on for about six hours. We're getting hopefully towards the end of the fight. I've got Andrew, um, which is an amazing uh, gilly on uh, in Mazeppa. Um, yeah, so let's see. Hopefully we can get her out. So it's been a hell of a fight and she's a massive fish. So let's see what happens. Awesome, guys. Have a good one. And we'll let you know at the end of the fight, hopefully. And I'll reiterate again. If you don't watch your step here at night, you'll quickly become the shark food. After six hours of fighting such a big shark and having so much energy left, that's plausible. I'll say it again, Andrew is really an asset when targeting these big fish in Mazeppa. As you just saw, we just landed a massive grey, 246 centimetres, yep. 248 centimetres. Very good fish, 250 odd kilos, so very happy with that. That was on a yellowfin tuna head, and then we got a nice bronzy of what, 226 centimetres on a whole bonito. So yeah, very chuffed. What a, what, what a way to start the day, and what a way to start our session. So yeah, that's one way of doing it. Thanks guys. Absolutely insane, so I just want to put in here Andrew. Um, yeah, so good to have him back um, and giving me a hand with obviously pointing out he knows all the rocks, knows all yeah. the crevices in the ocean here in Mazepa. And yeah, if it wasn't for him, it, you know, might, might have ended up a, a bit of a sad tale. But uh, yeah, we got her and so stoked. Thank you, yeah. my boy. And, and what a uh, fish. What a yeah, fish. very, very happy. And the tackle stood the test. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. It really was smooth, no problems. Just beautiful. Absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning <laughs> fish. Stunning session. <laughs> what a day. What Cheers, a day. guys. Cheers, guys. We'll check you tomorrow.